Colleen here, DIYer behind LemonThistle.com, and today I'm excited to be talking to you guys about macrame. I am talking about the three basic macrame knots that you need to do pretty much any tutorial out there. I love macrame. I've been using it in my home decor quite a bit, and I've got lots of questions about the pieces that I've made, but I have yet to make a tutorial other than my Christmas garland because I thought, well, that's a lot of information to jam into one video. So instead, what I've done is I've made this foundations video. This has the knots that you need to make pretty much any hanging out there. This is something that you can refer back to as I go ahead and release those other video tutorials down the road, or as you're watching other people's videos with their tutorials, this is a great starting point to come back and you know to see how to make these knots in a really simple, up close way. The three knots that I go over in this video are the square knot, and I not only show how to make that in its own chain, but how to join them together to create a pattern, the kind of weave here. I also go over the half square knot or the spiral, and lastly, the hitch that can travel across like this or that you can double up. All right, before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to do that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. Okay, as we're getting started here, this is how we attach our strings onto our dowel. Now there's two different ways you can do this. You can do this over or under. If you're gonna do it under, this is what they'll look like. I really like how it almost gives a knotted look when I do it this way, so I'll show you. So you just take your loop, this is the folded piece of string, and you pop it over, and then you tuck the tails through this loop. Pull them all the way through, and then tighten it up. You want to do that four times for each knot that we're doing here. And the only thing is I like to make sure that they're not twisted here as I'm pulling them through. Gives it a nice flat look along the dowel. Okay, so I'm all set up for the three different knots. The first one that I'm gonna start with is the square knot. So you actually only need four strings for this, so two loops, but I'm gonna show you how they work together. If you made friendship bracelets when you were a kid, you know how to do a square knot. So for this one, you wanna separate the two inside pieces from the outside pieces. These middle ones are what we're gonna tie everything around, and these outside ones are the working cords. So we're gonna start by taking one of the sides and folding it over like a sailboat or like a four. And from here, then I like to pinch it right here. Then you take this other cord, you put it over top of that, and then tuck it behind and fold it through. Do you see how it wraps around? And then as you pull it up, that's the first half of your square knot. Next, we're gonna do it the opposite way. So we did the sailboat this way, now we're gonna do it this way. And you put this one over top of that, underneath your two middle cords and pull it out that little pocket on the other side. And then pull this all the way up. And that is a square knot. So you can keep making the square knots just by alternating. One side and then the other. And the trick to these knots really, other than, you know, doing the steps in the right order, is even pressure. So as you're pulling on them, just giving a nice even pressure so you don't pull them so tight that they're not visible, but also that they're not so loose that you can actually see what the knots look like. When I first did macrame, that was my steepest learning curve. It's the same as crochet or knitting. You want to do an even pressure so that it looks really consistent, and in this case, really nice and flat because this is a flat square knot. So that is the square knot right there. The other thing that I wanted to show you is that you can make a square knot pattern um, using more than one square knot. So I'm just gonna tie this down here and then I'll start it from there. So again, I'm separating the middle two from the outside and I'm making my sailboat and pulling it through. Okay, so now I just wanna look at an alternating pattern which puts 
two square knots together, which is called for in quite a few macrame tutorials. So all you're doing is you're going from one section of four and one section of four to splitting it down the center and taking these four, leaving those outside two out of the way, and your working chords from the other ones become your inside chords and you knot this. And you just do the two half square knots to make your one full square knot. And then you go back, split it again, and you make your square knot over here. So you're doing your two halves. It's important to remember it always comes by doing two knots to get the one square knot. And then you go back to the center again. So this pattern that we're doing, the square knot but alternating between the rows, you can do this with as many sections as you want to. So we could fill this entire thing with this pattern and just alternate back and forth filling the knots. And those are some of the more simple macrame hangings that you might have seen. They have a really pleasing aesthetic of repetition. And they almost look like they're woven. So I'm just gonna finish off this line here and then we'll go to the next one. So this is the square knot here using four strings. And then when you start alternating the strings together, this is the kind of woven pattern that you get here. And this is used a lot in macrame tutorials so I just wanted to show you how to put them together as opposed to just do them in an individual chain. Okay, I'm gonna put that one to the side. Next, we're gonna do the half square knot, which is also known as the spiral. So again, for this, you only need four. So I'll work with these four here. And it is just half of the square knot repeated over and over. So if you'll remember from our square knot that we just did, you take the middle two pieces and you take your outer two pieces. The outer two pieces are your working cords and you want to put it like a sailboat over top and then pinch it, tuck this one over top of that piece under the two center pieces and pop it out the other side. Now the difference here is that it doesn't take two knots to make the knot, that's it. So you just keep doing that over and over with the same side. So we don't alternate back and forth here. We just keep putting the same side as the sailboat, the other side over, tuck under and through. And since we're not alternating, it's not going to sit nice and flat, like the square knot. So let's do a few of them and you'll see what I mean here. You can see already it's starting to twist like this. And that's how you get the spiral knot. It's just by doing that on repeat until you're bored or you get it as long as you want it. And so as it starts to twist, that's fine. You don't have to twist around with it. Just flip it over. And as long as you keep using the same hand to your sailboat, you'll continue in your spiral knot pattern. And again, the most important thing here is an even pressure so you get that nice consistent thickness of the chain as you're knotting. And let's move to this one. So the last one that I wanna show you is the half hitch. I think some people call it the double half hitch, but could be right that could be wrong <laughs> so for this one we are using one cord as your traveling cord so this one whatever direction you want this not to go you will move this cord for example if I want it to go straight across I would pull it straight across like this and I would do my hitches up here but for the sake of visual interest and also I mean getting maximum effect with doing less knots, I like to go on an angle. So let's do that. So this one is my outermost cord and I want it to go across like this on an angle. So we're just gonna knot through each of these strings, leaving this one traveling in a diagonal line. So to do the hitch, if you take this cord, you loop it over and put it through that hole. It's like your most simple knot ever. Now make sure the one that's traveling, you pull super tight. Loop this one up. 
then do that a second time. So put it over and pull it through and pull that one up. You see that pattern there that it makes? Now we're gonna go to the next one. So this one's done, we'll kind of put it to the side. Let's move to the next one. We're underneath, we loop over and pull it through. Put that knot up. Then do it a second time. So doing it only one time makes it really loose. When you do it the second time, it kind of locks it in place. Let's do it again with the next string. So you'll see this string is traveling across all these other ones. Now, if I were to loosen it up and to pull it up, it would look like a normal knot and you'd be like, this isn't right, but it is. So just make sure that traveling cord, you pull tight and do you see how when I pulled it tight, it popped into looking exactly like the other ones. So that makes this line here. You just keep doing that. Two per string, just keep going. until you get to the end. So this is the last one, and there's two things that you can do here. Well, there's a bunch. I mean, you could end it there if you wanted to, or you can loop back by taking the same traveling string and putting it back over the other way. And then you'll see, again, it's just underneath and up through the loop. So it's in your opposite hand since it's traveling the other direction, but it's the exact same knot. And so again, two of them. And you move on to the next. Now, you can see here, it's really easy to get sucked into going at a different angle. So that's where pulling your string, your traveling string, really tightly is helpful. So you can see this is one half of a diamond. I'm gonna go ahead and make this kind of a zigzag, but if you were to have another eight strings here or another four hooks and you went out and then back together, you could tie these together and it would be a diamond, which you'll see in quite a few patterns as well. The last thing that I wanted to show you is as opposed to doing this single line here, you can then go and do a double line. So I'm gonna take the outside one, this is gonna be my traveling string, and I'm gonna loop these ones with the hitch. You wanna do it nice and tight to this. Remembering to keep your traveling string quite tight there. There are so many different variations of these knots that you can do, but these are just some that I see in tutorials over and over, and some that I'm going to be sharing in my upcoming tutorials that I wanted you guys to know. All right, so there you have it. There is the square knot, spiral knot, or half square knot, and then the hitch. I'm gonna go ahead and put this video along with my Christmas garland and any other macrame tutorials that I add in the future into one playlist to make them really easy to find. And I might go ahead and add some other bloggers that I love to that as well who have some great macrame tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss any more DIY or home decor videos. We'll see you guys next time.